Hi everyone, my name is Desiree and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So it's been a while since I have made a video, about two months now. I'm not really doing many readings um, these days, but I do want to get back onto YouTube and if anyone does want a reading, just email me and we can try and fit you in. Um, I just have a lot of things I'm juggling at the moment, um, but I do want to get back into YouTube here a little bit. I want to continue my Sun and Moon series. Um, where I do like a specific uh, sun sign and their moon sign and describe that type of personality um, considering just the sun and the moon. So if you have requests for that, leave that below. And then I also want to start doing more of these like celebrity uh, synastry readings where I go over the celebrity birth charts. And today I'm going to do Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian who just got engaged and they have obviously been in the news a lot. Um, I'm not super familiar with like ins and outs of everything going on with them. This isn't going to be like going into their lives. It's just going to look at the astrology very simply, um, their synastry and kind of what maybe drew, drew them together and what's keeping them um, very closely bonded. So if this sounds like something that you are interested in, keep watching. And if you have any requests for astrology or perfume or lifestyle videos, please leave that below for me. And I will try to get to, uh, you know, get some more videos out within the new year here. I have a lot going on, like I mentioned, but I want to definitely prioritize uh, getting a few videos out for you guys. Um, maybe one a week would be my goal. <laughs> but let me know what you guys want to see. With that being said, we have Travis Barker here, born November 14th, 1975 in Fontana, California. And he is a Scorpio sun, he's an Aries moon. And then we have Kourtney Kardashian, April 18th, 1979, Los Angeles, California. Obviously she's an Aries, moon, or Aries sun, Capricorn moon, and Pisces rising. We don't have the birth time for uh, Travis, so we don't have his rising sign but we can go into a lot of synastry details with just these uh just this information now the first thing off the bat is that he is an aries moon he also has jupiter uh with his moon that enhances his creativity his need to be nurtured um and that shows why he's typically drawn to more fiery passionate aries type women um shannon Lawler, i believe was an aries son as well who's his first wife um that he has children with and we know we all know that you know Courtney is a very strong Aries sun. Her Mars is in Aries as well, and I think her Mercury is also at zero Aries. So she's a very fiery um, Aries type of woman. Aries women are passionate, intense, aggressive, um, dominant. They are bold. They're not afraid to be themselves, which is why you see her definitely um, being kind of different than the family. You know, she goes to do things that she wants she doesn't always follow like what everyone else is doing and um she you know she also has that venus in pisces which makes her very sensitive at the same time while she is bold and i mean aries are childlike they are bold and aggressive but they can also get their feelings hurt too so she kind of has that sensitivity to her at the same time while her moon in capricorn is very strong determined um very like powerful mother you know capricorn is an earth sign capricorn is a sign that grows things that's why you know you see her being very um concerned with like natural types of uh food and um remedies and things like that she's very like natural based i don't think she like allows her children to have a lot of sugars and stuff like that and that just brings it back to that earth sign you know capricorn wanting to really like nurture everything around her that she loves the best way that she can um and now capricorn isn't always about money and power you know she is someone who's known to not really care about that type of thing she wants to be happy she wants to have um uh, it seems like she wants to have like her kids around her a lot and um but it, it does show that she's very organized and that she can be um she can do that if she wants to that sort of um power like businesswoman type of thing but it's just all about priorities for her and i think motherhood is probably something that is just her top priority um now getting back to travis of course he is a sun in scorpio conjunct the north node uh his mercury is in scorpio he has venus and libra another reason why he's always attracted to these aries libra is the sister sign for aries so you often see that um, coming up a lot with like the type of people you're attracted to they can be the sister sign of your venus because your venus shows what you desire what is attractive to you um it can also show why there was like that 
sort of thing about him and Kim, like that rumor or whatever, because he does like that Libra energy, his, Kim's Libra, you know, he likes the beautiful things, he likes things to be um, very pleasing, expensive, you know, likes things to look good, you know, in whatever aesthetic that is his. Now he has Venus with Pluto, so that gives it that darker, more rocker, emo kind of, um, like black colored you know that that type of vibe you know pluto with venus is um likes not just the pretty things likes the intense sexy darker kind of things as well now their sexual uh compatibility he has mars in cancer and uh she has mars in aries so that is also pretty good they are um both cardinal signs and they're in a square to one another so while that does present a lot of challenges because they're so different physically um it is a challenge that is like sexy you know that mars square mars is like a kind of aggressive like I, um, sexuality like friction that is between them so that can be something very magnetic that holds them together um, you know for the long term because it builds like a curiosity wanting to figure the other person out and um, just like a dynamic physical energy to it um, so I think that's what's going on with them right now now um, as far as their moon signs uh, like I said Travis has that Aries moon she has that Capricorn moon those are also cardinal signs so these people with a lot of cardinal energy like they have they make things happen they make decisions very quickly they are impulsive sometimes um, and they I think just when, once they make up their mind that's what it is so I think that's how this relationship unfolded is maybe once they felt that connection they were like they we don't care about anything else we are moving forward with what we want this is what's going to make us happy and their moon signs being in a square like that uh, it's a similar kind of friction from their mars being in a square um the moon they can maybe hurt each other's feelings a little bit but there's a draw and a um kind of connection there where they want to learn more about the other person and they want to maybe try to not do that you know they, they understand that they can be hurtful but as growing individuals you know the higher um spectrum of these signs capricorn and aries they want to be mature and grow together even though they are different like they, they can respect each other's differences which is great for um you know long-term compatibility and for mature people together now if these people were younger very immature this could be a fiery aggressive argumentative really bad and headbutting kind of relationship but as they are both more mature adults they both have kids they know what they want um it seems like this is just something that really keeps them drawn together keeps the passion and the fun and the fire alive while if they were like younger like in their teens or early 20s it could be more fighting more battles more headbutting in that way um so that's why you always want to look at this industry and consider the situation the age the um overall dynamics in the chart before you make an assumption about if synastry is good or bad so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i'm going to be posting this uh, like a mini reading on this on my tiktok so go follow me over there and let me know again below in the comments your feedback have a great day bye